everybody, welcome back. Hello. Kind of blah. Continuing on with Super Mario Bros. 3. Is it weird not saying games? It is. I'm actually having a lot of problems not saying games. Because I've well, we just said it for so long, right? Ah, fuck. Oh. Damn it. I don't know, it just seemed to roll off the roll off the tongue. Super Mario Bros. Or, Super, Super, I'm Super Mario Bros. Super, it's the Super Mario Bros. here. Um, Catablog Games. Now it's just Catablog. I have to, I have to stop myself. That's probably the problem. If it was longer, it wouldn't be a problem, but it's because I have to stop myself. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a weird thing to rebrand your channel. It kind of is. For, I guess, for anybody new or maybe hasn't seen yet, we've gone more just like an overall entertainment channel way. Um, it's kind of something we've wanted to do and our subs kind of push for it too. Um, yeah, come on. So we, yeah, we're rebranding, I guess. And, uh, so yeah, we obviously have to change our name because Catablog Games, well, we're not just games anymore. I don't know, I, I've liked the change so far. I, I, like, we, we told the story quite a while ago. Come on, you fucking... We've told the story before about how, uh, when we first started, we were actually, a, we actually did skits, and that was... Like, 2009? Uh, 2008, something like that? It was, yeah, it was like 11 years ago that we did this. Um, and we, I don't know, I, I like being creative and coming up with new skits, new comedy, that kind of stuff. Um, so it's kind of, I guess you could say it, oh, give me a poop. As much as people say that, you know, the big Let's Players, it took talent to get where they are. Anybody can really play a video game. I mean, you're not going to get anywhere without a personality. You still have to have a good personality that people are going to want to yeah. stick around for and pay attention to. Um, but yeah, anybody can play video. Like, there's a billion video game channels out there. Uh, um, and they may not necessarily be good. Because you still have to have an enjoyable personality that's going to make people want to watch. Um, but yeah, anybody can just put, put a channel together and start playing games. I think the biggest thing, though, is, like, and something that you and I talked about before is, even if you have a good personality, people don't know your personality until they click on the video, right? Like, if there's... And you know what? And there is thousands of fucking Fortnite <laughs> players. Guys, if you were a Fortnite player and you were watching this right now, why would anybody click your video over the guy that's already got a million subs? Like, if it... That... Oh, we got it. Nice. That makes no sense. And I mean, I guess it's, it, it's also something that we had to learn too. Yeah, we did. Because I mean, that's something that we always have to deal with is why are people going to come to our channel over somebody who does something similar or the same, but is bigger? That's kind of where we're at right now. You know, you rebrand the channel. I think the basis of the channel is just kind of focusing it around us more and just our comedy and our friendship and everything like that. But I mean, yeah. And at the same time, like, you still have to get people to your channel, too. Yeah. And, like, that's that's the hardest thing, is getting people to your channel. And it's even harder if you're doing something that everybody else does, to, like, to get them to your channel. Because, I mean, I, I would say we kind of focus less on the gameplay and more on, I guess, the, the comedy side of it. Yeah. And, and our personalities. Um, but people, when they're, they're first coming to your channel... They don't know about any of that. They just know about, I'm clicking on this because of the game that you're playing. Yeah. And then, so once you get them there and you kind of, they see what you're about, they enjoy your personalities, then they stay. So that's, yeah, that's kind of the hard thing. and something that we've definitely struggled with ourselves, just how to get, how to get people there. Yeah, and I think what we've come up with is we got to do other things, get them hooked on that, and then maybe they'll watch these. Which, I mean, is is even tough in itself. Yeah. Like... We have had more growth over the last little while. Well, I mean, we put a lot of effort into it, and we had, it's a different... Like, we had to do things a different way, too. Like, you gotta, you know, you gotta do the, you gotta do the promoting, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, right? So it's, I don't know, it's a... It, it, it takes a lot of work to get on, to get, to get going, get on, on your feet. And I, I don't know, we've talked about... Really? I know we've talked about this before in other episodes too. Like we've gone over kind of how our channel's gone and where we wanted it to go, etc., etc. But I think it's constantly evolving, also. 
don't know. It's not a bad thing to keep talking about because like. Well, I guess it's kind of an update on where we're at, right? You're you're always learning new things. I think that that's the biggest thing to have on a YouTube channel. Are we big by any means? No, but we're learning things on a daily basis of what works and what doesn't. But yeah, I mean we've been around now for over a year, and we're still we're still learning tons of new stuff on you know how how the YouTube analytics work and how to get recommended and you know where's the best place to try and advertise your channel and just all this what kind of videos people want to see. And that, that's always changing too. You know, like something that people used to really like a long time ago that we did, they maybe don't really like it anymore. So then you gotta come up with a new idea. So it's just, I don't know. It's always a learning experience and you gotta, you gotta change as you go along. I think that's the biggest thing though is you can't, uh, you can't really cater to one person either. And it sucks when you're when you're a small channel because you might lose that sub to satisfy the other 20 people that do like your new stuff. Um, so it's it's really a give and take, and there's a lot of decisions that we make in the background that, and, and don't get me wrong, they don't they don't get decided in a quick quick motion either. We we take a lot of time to deliberate everything we do. Well, it's kind of funny too because a lot of uh... A lot of you guys have, you know, said, well, we'd like to see something like this, and we think you guys should do that. And it's funny, because most of the time it's like, yeah, we literally just talked about that, like, a week a, ago. Like a week ago, and we decided the same, you know, the same thing. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> and we just, you know, we decided the same thing, and so that's what we've been brainstorming. Yeah. And it's also, like, the time, because the time it takes to come up with new stuff, put it together, get it working, that also takes a long time. Um... And in the meantime, it can seem like you're you're not doing anything because you're still kind of releasing the old stuff that you have been releasing the whole time, but that's only because you're still working on getting the new stuff out. Yeah. I don't even know where we're going with this. I don't know. <laughs> There's an update on what we've been about. <laughs> What's been going on with us. But yeah, I'm actually... I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we've been getting back to doing skits because I know that's something I, I did enjoy before. Cause it's a, it's like a different way of, a different way of being creative, you know. Like we can sit here, we can tell stories, we can talk about stuff, um, play different games, I guess, that have a different style. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of, it's still all the same, the same thing, the same yeah. format. You know, you're playing a game, you're talking about, you're just sitting there talking away. Whereas, you know, skits, you got to come up with it, come up with the idea how it's gonna work, how you want to run it, just. I don't know, it takes a lot more creativity, I guess. And it feels nice to get those creative juices going sometimes. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. I don't know, I don't think that our... Really? She stuck that right up my asshole. Even when we only did games, I don't feel like we were ever really about the games. No, I, I don't think it ever really was. It was always just about... I mean, really, it started with about just us getting together and playing games and hanging out. Yeah. It's really all it ever was. Just because we always felt like we could... We certainly entertain ourselves, and maybe we could entertain other people. And we've always liked entertaining people, so... Yeah. Do, 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 do. I mean, as entertaining it is to watch us die on the same fucking level <laughs> 80 times. I actually know a lot of people that just... They don't... <laughs> they don't necessarily watch the gameplay, but like they'll have it on in the background or something while they cook because they think that the stories and whatnot are funny. And to be honest, I do that with some channels too. Yeah. Like I'll just I'll just listen to what they have to say if I'm not really interested in the games. And I mean, you, I can, you can't really just go through, man. You can't really expect, I guess, to find everything interesting. Like I know there's there's YouTube channels that I'll watch. And it's like, yeah, maybe not everything is interesting. Maybe the game's not interesting. Maybe the commentary is not as interesting. But you know, you still kind of watch just to keep up with them. I only watch one channel for gameplay. That's it. I watch, I watch a few. Do you? Yeah. I, the guy that I watch, he has the same game what do you, interests as I do, I guess. But that's a, that, you know, that's an interesting thing, right? Like, 
we, how many people do you think like video games on YouTube? I, I would actually like to oh, see ton. that statistic. And if there's a lot of people like me that typically only stick to one channel, then yeah, all of you Let's Players, including ourselves, we're all fighting for, to take over those big guys. Like, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, good luck. It's an interesting thing, right? Because I'm never going to give up watching that guy over anybody else. Mm -hmm. There, there's just no point because he'll do everything this new these new people will do and I've been watching him for years so why would I quit I mean I get well that's basically exactly what we just talked about right yeah you know it's like you know there's a lot of people out out there like us who are gonna ask him ask him, oh fuck asking the same question was like why these guys instead of these guys over here because they were around first. That's usually the answer. But I mean, not everybody's like you either, where they just watch yeah. one channel. Like, there's plenty of people who have tons of channels that they watch. I guess it's my time. I'm, I can only have time to watch one channel. Really. But I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, oh, I have to keep up with all the videos. It's like, oh, I'll watch this video, and if I want to watch something else, I'll go watch something else. Maybe a different type of video. Like, I like watching... Video game videos, I like watching vol like oh, volleyball yeah. videos too. I'll go and watch a, you know. No, that, I only watch one video video game yeah, channel, yeah. but I watch a ton of other channels. Yeah. Okay, well, we may continue on with that conversation next time. We may not. Um, but we are going to end the episode here. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.